Hi everybody and welcome to an overview of the texture blending features or texture blending and painting features in PolyBrush. This is as of the beta version 0.9 so make sure you're looking at the latest just in case. Uh, so of course we'll just start with uh, looking at the PolyBrush window over here and once again you can open that via tools, PolyBrush and then PolyBrush window. Once you have it open just click on the texture painting and blending mode on the up on the top here. It's the icon with the little flowers on it and that will set you into the texture painting mode. Now once you have a mesh selected, you will see the brush show up over the mesh as if it's ready to paint. The very first thing you want to check before you uh, start trying to paint any textures is that you have a uh, proper material or shader on the mesh itself. So right now, as you can see in the polybrush panel, it's warning us that we do not have a proper material on this and we'll need to change that. The easiest way to do this is to use the shader that we include by default with PolyBrush, though you can use or create your own as well. So with the mesh selected over in the inspector, uh, next to the shader, click the drop down and change it to PolyBrush Standard Texture Blend. Now instead of the warning in the PolyBrush panel, it shows all of the channels that we can paint. Right now there are no textures in the channel, so we'll have to add the textures into those. Go back to the material and click the uh, toggle open on it in the inspector and you'll see each of the texture channels available. So There's quite a few, you probably don't need all of them but you can make use of it as you need. Uh, the very first texture, the base color is going to be um, as it sounds on the base of the object. Think, think of it as the lowest level of um, terrain or whatever it might be that you're painting onto your object. Uh, so we'll start by dragging a texture into that. I'll put in the ground dirt sounds like a good option. And we're using some textures uh, very kindly provided by the gametextures.com folks. Make sure and check those guys out if you need some of your own. Now I have this base texture on here and I'd like to paint something extra. I'm going to start adding extra textures into the texture slots here below. So for texture one, I'll drop in some grass, maybe this moss into the texture two channel, and some, let's see, rock for the third channel. And we'll stick with that for now. Once that's been added, you'll see an update in the PolyBrush panel, and it now shows these textures. So to paint them, just click on the texture, and then start painting it in. Just like in the uh, vertex painting tutorial and in the sculpting tutorial, your brush settings here control everything from the radius, falloff, the falloff curve, and the strength, which is basically the opacity. Uh, for a quick demo there, if you turn the strength down, you'll see it just barely applies and you have to apply multiple times before it begins to show up like that. And with a full strength, it paints it right on 100%. So using this, we can go through and paint on whichever uh, textures you might want onto your object. Obviously this is especially useful for terrains and things like that, but it could be used in a number of different ways. So that's a quick look at texturing and texture blending in PolyBrush as of the beta point nine. We'll definitely be adding more uh, in the future, so be sure to take a look back for future videos. Thanks.